Hello, Mr. Tash. Thank you. Hi. Who are you and, and who, what, what do we know you from? In your own words. Um, I like the fact that you can get away with knowing nothing about me. That's great. Wow, that's really smart. Ah, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed. Okay, now you make me do all the work. <laughs> I've been very successful in the course of my life and done so many things and won so many awards and have been all over the world and now I'm here. Highlight almost. Yeah, and the highlights are just really all the many awards that I won and and all the accolades that I got for being so extraordinary at what I do and and because I do so many things. <laughs> now you're just saying. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. All right, so anyway, battles. I was, I was uh, on All My Children, okay, when it first started, which is a soap opera, which um, Erica Kane, who's very famous in soap opera, um, was on for like 50 years. I was on the first three years. Then I replaced Michael Douglas on Streets of San Francisco uh, for the fifth and final year, and then I moved into the original Battlestar Galactica, and then I did a million um, movies of the week, like, um, you know, the Hatfields and the McCoys um, uh, with Jack Palance. Uh, I played uh, his son on that, and then I did, um, you know, um, Dead Man's Curve with Bruce Davidson, uh, story of Jan and Dean, the rock stars from the 50s. Um, did a million episodic things, um, ended up doing the, oh, um, started with Michelle Pfeiffer and Peter Ustinov and Charlie Chan and the Curse of the Dragon Queen, which was a 33rd rendition of the Charlie Chan murder mysteries, and that was a comedy, and that was um, Michelle Pfeiffer's first big movie, actually. Ah, let's see, and then uh, I went on to the new Battlestar Galactica for almost five years and played uh, Tom Zarek the original Battlestar, which I played Captain Apollo with Lauren Green and Dirk Benedict and a whole bunch of stars from many, many movies over the past decades, um, including, and I can't think of this, Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire was on the show, got to work with Fred Astaire, which was quite absolutely amazing. And um, I'm a teacher, uh, I teach and lecture all over colleges, universities. I teach acting, filmmaking, writing. I work with people on public speaking. And by the way, it wasn't a career segue as much as it was one of my passions has always been teaching. And I've been teaching for the last 30, 40 years in between acting, writing, directing. And I've directed several projects. I directed an infomercial for the securities industry, uh, which I wrote, directed, produced, and hosted. And I'm working right now on developing this high-end web series to launch a new title, which is going to be Electronic Game. It's coming out as a novel, mm. coming out as a series of graphic novels called Guam. Mm. Um, and I'm de I have an acting class, which I do every week in Studio City, which is basically in parentheses, if we call it more than an acting class, because in this day and age, at, you can't just be an actor. You really have to learn the business of the art. Mm. And you have to develop all your other skills, whether it's writing, directing, producing, learning how to proactively put together projects that utilize your talents, um, help you to find the, ki the right kind of material, the right kind of roles, the right kind of things, not only for your acting reel, but also to get proactive in developing um, story ideas, script ideas, um, pilot ideas for actually pitching to the network and the studios, which we used to do way back in the day when you were lucky enough to have a manager that was proactive and would develop a pilot with you starring in it along with other actors and you would put it all together, package it, take it to the network. Most actors didn't do that. They waited for the network to, if you were known, you waited for the network to come to you with some idea to put you in some project. But this way you were taking projects to them and you were entering on a much higher level. And the funny part was today that's really probably the most powerful, most viable way to succeed in the industry is you got to really develop your own um, career opportunities. You can't wait for other people to do it because you're always, you know, everybody's saying, hire me, give me a chance. But the whole thing is most people don't want to take a risk and everybody is trying to get into the industry and the question is, why should I hire you? And the point of it is people get lost in the equation. So you, in a sense, you've got to show people what you say you can do. Go out there and show people that you know what you're doing show people you know the kind of material that really brings out your best performance mm -hmm. the kind of material that people would cast you in show them what it is that you want to be cast for because people may not want to take that risk with you 
And so often we're all trying to talk people into believing in us, mm -hmm. right? And yet the trouble is most people, they're good at talking, they're not good at doing. So you gotta prove that you're good at actually doing what you say you can do. 